You may buy their products in the grocery store. Did you know that packaged food maker Goya, I call them the bean people, I hope they don't object, they're a company with one and a half billion dollars worth of annual sales. One and a half billion a year. Do you know that? Joining us are Bob and Peter Yunanway. They run Goya. First of all, you, sir, are Bob. I am Peter. You are Peter. Yeah. <laughs> Way to go, Stu. You are Peter <laughs> yes. and you are Bob. Yes, okay. Sir. Yes, sir. With sales like that and a company of reputation like this, why are you still private? Why did you go public? Well, first of all, it's such an honor to be here. You have a fantastic show, Mr. Varney. You don't have to uh, say all of that. Why are you private? It's, it's, <laughs> it's, it's true, though. I want, just wanted to say hello and, and, and to mention that. You know, we're having a lot of fun. We, we've been in business for 83 years. I started when I was 10 years old on the production line, 50 cents an hour. But, you know, we've been around for a long time. We've done it all ourselves. And we have a culture. We have great people. And, you know, nobody, we've done it ourselves. No, so, no one has. Okay, let me jump us. in. You are, Peter, right? Yes, Peter, I Peter, Peter, Peter. You are not going to go public. Is that a fact? There's no reason to. You know, we've only just begun. If we're 1.5 billion today, there's so much more we can do and will do. There's so much more growth opportunity. Uh, there's you, a lot of complications with that. Why? You guys don't want to cash out? I mean, I mean there's a lot of money at stake here, gentlemen. <laughs> I'm only 65, so I, I think we're just beginning. You know, the, the, we're we've doing. paralleled the, the U.S. Uh, immigration uh, fr from 1936 in, on Duane Street in lower Manhattan, where our grandfather started. Uh, we've grown over the years. We've followed, again, the, the Latino market, but the general market in and of itself, where we have locations around the globe, okay. we have businesses around the globe, we're vertically integrated, you know, we make our own uh, containers, we, uh, but also we're involved in the community. We're very, uh, we give away millions of pounds of food a year. We're, we're very, uh, it's very important to be socially. Uh, okay, you're good guys. I got that. <laughs> you're good guys. They're a great product. I, I got that. I'm going to give you another commercial. <laughs> Seems to me that you guys fit right into this vegetarian, vegan movement. You, yeah. after all, you're plant-based protein, aren't you? Isn't that what you do? Well, with the whole Beyond Meat thing uh, that's, you know, coming uh, of... We're, we're the original Beyond Meat because beans have protein, fiber, right. antioxidants, phytonutrients. If you combine uh, beans with rice, you get a complete protein. We're bringing super grains from South America quinoa, chia, amaranth. Uh, do, so do, we, do, that's do you stress this? I mean, yes. you go out there and advertise and say, Absolutely. hey, we're in line with Beyond Meat. We're in line with the vegetarians. And the, I don't know whether you're a vegan product or not. Exactly right. Beans are vegan. Our beans, products okay. are nutritious and delicious. We've been making beans for forever. Nutritious, delicious. So our, that's what's so exciting about this, that we're getting our products and so, into so many more outlets so that anybody anywhere can enjoy our products, which are, again... Healthy and nutritious. Do you two yeah. guys own it outright? All of it? We're part of uh, many owners. Uh, we've got a big third generation. You got a big and, chunk. Uh, Fifty percent and more. It's still in the family. It's, it's, it's a big uh, family, though. It's family. a big family. It's one hundred percent family owned. <laughs> uh, but like Peter says, we're also doing organic, so we're into the health, uh, healthiness, and. Uh, but as far as ownership, again, we've been doing this our whole lives. I think if you take, you go public, you take the culture out of the business and our involvement in the community as an icon, quite honestly, uh, goes away. Well, you'd have a lot of lawyers uh, looking over your shoulder if you went public. And you'd have short sellers having a go at you as well. So I understand where you're coming from. Any problem with the delay in getting USMCA, the new trade deal with Mexico and Canada? Any problem for you guys because there's a delay here? You know, we, we've never relied on uh, tariffs or, or these accords. Uh, NAFTA, to me, if you use a plumbing analogy, is like a check valve in, 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 a, in a pipe. That everything coming out of Mexico comes in free. To, for us to sell into Mexico is a very difficult thing, although we are selling it. Mm -hmm. The United States is the second largest Latino country in the world. Mexico is the first. Okay. So we have over 70 million Latinos. Last one. I wonder if you'll answer it. Are you Trump supporters? I'll answer that. I support and have faith in our president. Okay, so likewise. And no I, split I, in the family here. Okay, all right, good. I, I, I thank uh, f the president for our economy. Although the government creates an environment for businesses to flourish, and I think that's what's being done. Bob.
Peter. <laughs> you Nan Wei, I got it right. <laughs> Goya guys. Thank you very much for joining us, gentlemen. We really appreciate it. Great to have you on the show. Thank you. Our pleasure. Good luck all.